humans produce sewage every second of every day from waking up in the morning to going to bed the toilets flush the sinks drain the showers pour and the washing machines wash but have you ever wondered where all the sewage goes and what happens to it well a vast system and sewage treatment plants are functioning to manage human produced sewage STPs play a crucial role in maintaining public health, protecting the environment and ensuring the sustainable management of water resources. The idea of sewage management emerged first during the 19th century from a civil engineer Sir Joseph William Bagelgate, where he designed a pipeline network to carry the produced sewage from homes and industries in London, stored them in tanks and pumped it out to the rivers during the high tide. Since then the idea of sewage management progressed along with the growing population and the help of modern technologies the humans have built sophisticated sewage treatment plants which can treat the sewage and remove pollutants from it and keep it safe for the lakes rivers and ponds In India too sewage management is crucial as it is one of the most populated countries in the world There are big cities across the country where wastewater management infrastructure is being developed to keep the cities environment friendly and secure public health. One such big city is Hyderabad where on average the city produces 2000 mld per day which is 7.2 million mld per year almost 3 times larger than the volume of water in the Olympic swimming pools. To treat this enormous amount of sewage the government of Telangana is building sewage treatment plants across the city the MEL is executing 17 sewage treatment plants in crucial locations these STPs are designed to remove contaminants and pollutants from wastewater making it safe to discharge back into the environment let us now learn how sewage is treated in an STP In the first stage of the treatment process wastewater from homes businesses and industries is collected and screened to remove large objects such as plastic rags and other debris In the primary treatment process the wastewater settles in large tanks where solids settle at the bottom and oils and grease float to the surface These solids are then removed and transferred to a sludge treatment process In the second treatment process the remaining wastewater is treated with microorganisms that break down organic matter and other pollutants This is typically achieved through aeration and mixing the wastewater in large tanks along the microorganisms to thrive And the tertiary treatment is the final stage of the treatment process where any remaining contaminants are removed from the water using additional treatment methods such as filtration disinfection or chemical treatment the construction work of this stps are progressing at a brisk pace once ready hyderabad will be the first city in india to treat 100% of sewage